morning. Time for the uh, good old 6 a.m. cardio. It's the biggest stress reliever for me, and it gets out all my frustration, and even when I'm in a really good mood, it like just puts me up even more. Well, great way to start the morning, get the exercise going, and time to go to the first class. My major is interior design. It's a full-time thing outside of the gym. My classes actually are longer, so it's one class, but it's the same as someone else's two classes. I'm in a seventh grade social studies class. I'm a people person and I enjoy um, helping people out and um, I really want to make an impact on people. And what better way than children? Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Justice. Good morning. <laughs> At first it was kind of eye-opening. It's, it's right here in the heart of Athens and um, we kind of got thrown right in and it's been, it's been really a great experience. So, day's not over yet. Because I love this place so much, we come back here at night, get to do a math tutor session. So, here we go. Math is my favorite subject. I'm so good at it. So what do collegiate athletes have to do? They have to learn to balance their time. The most difficult thing for a collegiate athlete to do is to learn how to balance their time. It's tough. Because they basically have no time. There is pressure in the classroom. We have a great point average that we set a goal at, um, that we'd like to achieve. There's pressure you know, to look good. There's pressure to perform in the gym. You're expected to come in here with a good attitude every single day. You have a problem outside of there, you're expected to leave it at the door. It's a sport of pressure, it is. I mean, it's you on that event and you're being judged. <laughs> Nobody likes to be judged. <laughs> Pressure can build because of external things. You know, you walk around this campus, and I can't go anywhere without somebody going, you're going to win it again, coach? You're going to win it again, coach? We've already got our tickets, coach. And I'm thinking to myself, if people are saying that to me, they're saying that to all 16 of these girls. It's constantly around them. The spotlight is on you, and people expect things out of us. Dealing with pressure, like, I mean, you have a whole team that deals with it together, you know? So when someone's on the floor competing, you're with that person. You're, you know, and they can feel that, too. And I think that's what the difference we have here with any other program. To me, there's no pressure when you're prepared. None. The more time you spend together, the more respect you can have for one another. Everything we do is designed to build that camaraderie. It's not about, you know, walk into a room, everybody hang out. We do things that we make sure are all inclusive of everyone. It goes back to my philosophy that you can't really respect people you don't know. And so we try to spend a lot of time just getting to know each other, what's important to each other. And we really do different activities different years. Yeah, we did a good effort, ladies. Yes, Way to go. Way to go, team. We really, every year, try to think of some new things to do that are team-oriented, that force people that don't normally hang out with this particular individual to kind of, uh, it's kind of a mixer kind of a situation. <laughs> Most importantly, we are trying to continually encourage the girls to learn how to communicate, learn how to express themselves, be comfortable in front of groups speaking and talking. That's a life lesson that we want them to learn early on. Congratulations! Good job. We really do love each other, which is great. And not, I think, I mean, it's a huge difference between us and other schools. Cause I don't feel like other schools necessarily say that. I've learned so many life skills here. Um, I think it's just one, one more thing, you know, we're just together and we're bonding and we're having a really good time and then we can rely on each person, you can, you know, connect with each person. We um, are definitely like a big, big family and a big just bunch of sisters. I think that's the hardest part about being able to win a championship is getting that team together because if the team's not together, there's no way you're going to have it. 
You know, we really believe that gymnasts come to the University of Georgia for a reason, that they are drawn to this program because of specific things about this program, not just the fact that we win championships, but also other, other things that just draw them to it, and mainly it's the people and the girls. And so we try to do a lot of things to just really tighten up our group and develop that team chemistry. Um, I think I'm the only one dying. It's like... <laughs> so far. So far I'm a little nervous about gymnastics. She's not the only person dying. We're all dying. <laughs> and she's doing really good. <laughs> Everybody just puts all of what they have into this sport and sweat and day in and day out with each other and going through that with each other and supporting each other. You really have to have that to get through the day. So you really become very, very close to the people next to you. Listen up so we can get going. I started in August. And you have to understand that for the next nine days, you're going to really be pushed. It is going to be hard. But from this point forward, we talked about only the first meet. We prepare for the first meet. arena where we want to end up that night and you need to start practicing the mental toughness and the, and the mental work right now in here in this gym and you know what it's all up here because you did the work all fall and it doesn't matter whether you did it today or not or whether you did it last week or not nothing's going to be perfect you don't have to be when we walk into Utah we'll worry about Utah right now let's let's get the workouts done Pretty intense for the beginning of the season, Utah Stanford. So it's not like you could forget competition. There will be competition at the beginning of the season. They're chomping at the bit to compete at this point. And uh, so I think the first two meets will be fine. You did a better job of finishing the kick. You still want to open it a little too early. Turn the first one over a little longer, but much better. to start out the season with probably your number one competitor come April. We get to show them here we are again. We thrive on competing against the top teams. I think that and, and those things are what help prepare us for the national championships. Wow, beautiful! It is the most difficult beginning we've ever had. The more difficult the competition, the more prepared we're going to be. Good job. Champions are built from adversity. And the difference between good teams and great teams are how teams handle what they face. We are going into that fire right away. Something great is going to come from that. 